sitting here today on top of the world with my main man, Ben Greenfield. Yeah, lounging on rocks at the top of the world. It's pretty epic. Yeah. We just climbed the south ridge of Mount Superior. So you can see that ridge right there. That's what we just climbed up. And Ben, would you say that was probably the most technical rock climb you've done? You know what? You're such a badass at this stuff that I just followed in your steps and grabbed the rocks that you grabbed. And I didn't feel like it was that bad, honestly. Like I, I'm, I'm certain that uh, wearing the right shoes, having the right person in front of you, and uh, having a little bit of confidence helps. But no, I, I think it was that bad. Great. Well, you, you did amazing. You know, we brought the rope just in case yeah. you wanted to rope up. You didn't need yeah. to, so you basically free soloed the whole thing. Yeah. There were a couple of spots there you definitely would not want to drop. You would starve to death before you quit rolling down there. Yeah. Tom Cruise, look out. Here I come. Yeah. Next Mission Impossible. <laughs> well, we're going to talk about uh, the treatment that you're going to get tomorrow. Yeah, dude. I'm stoked. Yeah. going to heal me all up after this epic expedition. <laughs> That's right. So we've been working together now six years. Yeah, I came down for that, uh, that full body stem cell makeover. Gosh, I remember, yeah, about six, six years. Six years ago. Yeah, it was Man. right when I moved into my new office. You yeah. were one of the first cases that we did when we moved into the yeah. new space. I didn't quite know what to expect getting stem cells mm -hmm. injected from my big toe to the top of my head, but I told everybody when I finished it, I'm like, dude, after I, after I recovered, I felt, felt like Superman. Yeah. Did, did it again, what, like a year and a half yeah, ago? Yeah, we did about a year ago, yeah. About a year, yeah. year and yeah. a quarter ago, that's right. So and This you know. new one that we're doing tomorrow is kind of a twist on on the original pretty much so yeah. it's just it's ever evolving so you know i'll refer people back to the podcast that you and i we've done a couple of podcasts oh, on full body yeah. stem cell makeover yeah actually i'm glad you mentioned that there are a couple on my website yeah, yeah at, at the ben life.com website like yeah. where we talked for like 90 minutes about yeah, it. those yeah. are full length podcasts where we talk about the whole background you know it started out with me working on these cowboys these busted up old dudes who were having stem cells done to their horses and uh, you know they'd have these very expensive workhorses that would get too old to work, and they'd take them in and they get stem cells. They get two or three more years of work out of them, and they'd go to this veterinarian and say, "Hey, can you do that to me?" And the guy would say, "Well, no, I can't because I'm a veterinarian." But there's this guy in Park City doing it. Go to him, yeah. and I would do these huge treatments on these guys because they had arthritis through their whole bodies, and I just totally, as a joke, called it full body stem cell makeover. And then you became a patient, and I started getting yeah. your followers people interested in longevity, yeah. people interested in being very physically active, very late into life. Yeah. And uh, that's how it started. And, you know, we'll put down in the in the text below a link to those if people want to do a deep yeah. dive. Yeah. Well, you know, before I jump into that, why don't you just tell me, how did you do? We did one about six years ago. Yeah. We did another about a year and a half ago. What was your experience? Well, I mean, I, I think honestly, it takes like a few weeks, maybe in a few months to really kick in. Mm -hmm. And then, I mean, I tell people I'm 42 now. I, I, I feel like I'm 18. I get out of bed in the morning, just libido and workout recovery and, you know, hair, skin, nails, everything. I mean, there's even, you know, I, I can't like say names, but obviously I've sent some of my celebrity clients your way who literally like their career depends on looking young, mm -hmm. you know, as, as actors and people who are on camera. and. You know, folks swear by this stuff for the, just for the longevity play. I, I honestly don't really care that much about looking like I'm 20 years old and I'm 50 or whatever. I just want to feel good. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to crush the gym. I want to be able to crush stuff like this. So, I mean, I feel like it's it's been a huge dial mover for me in that department. And obviously, like the one thing that people ask me about that I get like the fear and trepidation about is oh, I don't want to be all laid up for like that surgery for a couple of weeks. And so. And you were telling me this one we're gonna do tomorrow, just like wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and you feel good within you know, a day or two. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited about it, honestly. Well, that's just it. You know, we developed this full body stem cell makeover, and it's really, you know, it's not for everybody. It's the, it attracts a very specific kind of person because it requires a big bone marrow aspiration and a big lipo aspiration. Yeah. And it beats people up pretty bad for, you know, yeah couple of some people a couple of days some people a couple of weeks I mean it takes a while to recover from it it's a big blood loss because in the form of bone marrow so you're anemic for a while so it really took a special kind of person to even be interested in it and you know, what I remember I raced the Spartan race like five days after I did it the first time I literally just like taped myself up and went for it in the mountains and 
Wished I hadn't during the race, because obviously with the bone marrow aspirin and the anemia and everything, I still did it. But yeah, those those full body ones, I think having a couple weeks of good R and R setup is a good idea. Totally. totally. Yeah. So one of the one of these celebrities that you were talking about, one of your personal private clients who you sent to me, we did a full body on him oh, about a, a year and a half ago. And yeah. he had a great outcome, but you know, he had to plan for the recovery. And yeah. so anyway, he gave me a he gave me a shout. I guess we did it closer to two years ago, because he gave me a shout a while back and he said, Look, I want to come back. I want to do another one, but I can't afford the downtime because I'm shooting this movie, I'm doing my own stunts. Uh, I was doing great, but I tweaked my back doing my own stunts. Uh, would you consider doing the full body stem cell makeover with umbilical cord cells? And you know, ever since Tony Robbins got that book out, uh, Life Force, there's been yeah. so much interest in it. And I've had so many people ask and I've just, you know, just, it wasn't my thing. I just, so I was saying no to a lot of people. Well, with this guy, I just, I didn't feel like I could just straight up say no. So I said, look, yeah. I won't promise you that I'll do it, but I will promise you that I'll look into it. Yeah. And that prompted a deep dive into the scientific literature. And what I found, Ben, is in the last three, four years, there has been a great deal more scientific literature uh, published on the use of umbilical cord stem cells, the safety and the efficacy. So I got comfortable with the idea of it. And uh, the next step was finding the right lab to work with, uh, which took some digging, took some, you know, asking around in the industry. Uh, and I found the right lab, New Life Regenerative Medicine. Uh, to get the stem cells, you mean? The actual laboratory that yeah. provides the cells. Let's put it this way, there's a broad spectrum of quality out there. The group that I feel totally good about, New Life Regenerative Medicine. And uh, we did the first treatment on your client and we had a, he, he loved it. He loved it and the main thing, because he had been through it once before, he just couldn't believe how much easier it was to go through. Yeah. Everything about it is easier. I mean, instead yeah. of like three hours being under IV sedation, it's an hour. Yeah. Uh, you wake up, you're not really in any pain, you're not bruised, you're not beat up. I mean, people feel the results much faster. Amazing. I mean, overall, I'm, I'm, I'm almost to the point where I'm ready to pull the plug and completely make the transition over. Yeah. You guys do face, you do the sexual organs, you do the joints, everything. Same procedure, yeah, you're just the same using thing. the umbilicals. Same thing. Wow. So when I do, I do the entire spine from the base of the skull down to the tailbone, every facet, every level, both sides, including epidurals, neck, mid back, low back. Turn the person over, both shoulders, both elbows, wrists, thumbs, hips, knees, ankles, great toes. While I'm doing that, Amy Killen is doing the skin, and this part's optional, uh, but she's doing the skin of the face to increase elasticity of the skin elasticity and hydration she does uh, the hair to thicken the hair follicles yeah. and then in men she does the penis to improve microcirculation because mm -hmm. erectile dysfunction is a circulatory disorder in women she does the vagina to increase elasticity and hydration of the vaginal tissue and so yeah so the injection portion is exactly the same what's completely different is the prep and the recovery the recovery yeah. is just so much better yeah i think it's going to be a game changer i mean obviously i haven't had it done yet and I'll, uh, I'll be able to speak to it more on my podcast after the procedure tomorrow. But I think, you know, for people who want to delve into the nitty gritty deep science behind this, like you mentioned, you and I've had two interviews where we really get into everything mm -hmm. that goes into it. And those can be found at bengreenfieldlife.com. Mm -hmm. But in the meantime, this new one, uh, do you call it the full body stem cell makeover we if people still, want to check it out? We still, you, know, you go to my website, you look at full body, there's a, a tab under services, this is full yeah. body stem cell makeover and it says you can either do it autologous, autologous meaning yeah. donor and recipient are the same person, or allogenic which is donor tissue, That's birth what donor. Tomorrow, That's what we're doing, yeah, and we do massive dose, I mean we're going to do 100 million umbilical cord stem cells yeah. which is you know, that's what people normally go to South America for. Yeah. And the, the big difference of going to South America is the thing that they can do there that we can't do here is they can culture expand the stem cells. Yeah. They can grow the stem cells in a laboratory, which uh, we can't do here in the U.S. What growing it out in the laboratory does is it makes it significantly less expensive. And that really is the only benefit because beyond that, when you grow them in a laboratory, it tends to do weird things to the cells. They lose their potency, strange things happen. It increases the risk of contamination. There's just a long list of bad things that can happen yeah. when you poke it with a stick. And a lot of these labs, I mean, if you go to a reputable uh, stem cell lab, it's not an issue, but yeah. anything less than a very reputable place, they're under tremendous financial incentive to do multiple passes, to grow it out many, many times. And the more times you grow it out, the riskier it becomes. Yeah. 
Well, we're not exactly in South America, as you can see, but uh, I think that the idea of getting something that a lot of people would travel that far to get is pretty exciting, and uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's gonna be cool. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Ready to do this? Yeah, let's do a uh, little. Let's do a little pan shot. Just show people yeah. where we are. This yeah, Mount Superior. Have a do, maybe do a little panoramic. All right, Ben, the day has arrived. We're gonna do a full body stem cell makeover with 100 million umbilical cord stem cells. We, we got your meat tenderized yesterday doing that huge <laughs> climb, which yeah. normally I recommend against people doing, but we went ahead and did it anyway. I figured today's a perfect recovery protocol. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you've been through this with us before, twice, in fact. Yeah. Uh, I think you're gonna be really happy with how much easier this is gonna be to go through. Okay. Uh, we're gonna skip the whole tissue aspiration and then clearly the tissue preparation. As Soon as we get you in there and get you on the table, we're gonna jump right into injecting. Okay. It's gonna take about an hour. And I think the big yeah. thing that you're gonna notice is when you wake up, you'll just be a lot less sore. You're gonna wake up a lot faster because instead of being asleep for three hours, you're gonna be asleep for closer to one hour. Good, because I have a Spartan race tonight. <laughs> 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 you have any other questions for us? No, I'm, I'm super excited to see how this one's a little bit different and from what I understand of the conversation we had out in our epic adventure yesterday, probably a little bit uh, easier than before. So yeah, I'm excited. Super, let's uh, do it. Cool. Bring it in. <laughs> oh look, there's my handiwork. That's from Ben's past bone marrow aspirations. We're not gonna be making any new ones today. It was so much fun taking Ben for that climb yesterday. It gave him a flavor for technical climbing. I really believe that climbing at a high level is what has allowed me to achieve the full body stem cell makeover. In order to be able to inject so quickly, you have to be totally focused on what it is you're doing and not let your mind wander at all. And climbing really forces you to learn that skill. Working with Ben over these last six years has been amazing. You know, our philosophies are so congruous. He really believes that the way to achieve longevity is by staying incredibly active very late into life. And clearly that's my philosophy as well. Well, everything went perfectly from my end. Awesome. Yeah, me too. I was, you, I was saying earlier, your hair is super thick. I think that between Yay. all the things that you've been doing and, and the treatments here, like yeah. your hair is like, it, it yeah. was so thick today when I was trying to Good. inject. I was like, I can't even find the scalp. Good. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. And your skin looks great. Um, so you're not even that beat up. I don't think you're even going to be bruised. So Great. Be great. A full on lion's mane. Exactly. <laughs> Good, Ben. So you had your procedure yesterday. How was your night? How are you feeling today? Well, I mean, as expected, I feel like I got a procedure done yesterday. Um, it's tricky, you know, it's, it's been like, well, a year, year and a half since I did the, the full body stem cell that was autologous. And I remember being remarkably sore for a few days. I'm sore today, the way my body feels, because I feel like I know my body pretty well. I feel like it'll be a little less sore tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I definitely can tell I had a procedure done. But you know, I, I went on a walk for a while last night and um, been getting some work done and stuff today. So it's not, it's not as almost like bad as I was braced for. Kind of, I slept fine. I slept like nine hours last night yeah. and feel like I got some good recovery. And so yeah, Great. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you're going to, uh, you're going to basically roll out this type of thing. So we did a podcast where you talked about how you feel like you could make these autologous stem cell procedures more like available to the masses. What's that, what's that look like right now? Yeah, sure. So that last podcast we did, we talked about how, you know, full body stem cell makeover, it's expensive. It's not yeah. for everyone. It doesn't make yeah. sense for everyone. And that's, you know, but there are plenty of people walking around with low back pain and neck pain and that sort of thing. And what yeah. we talked about last time was rolling out stem clinics which was going to make it available really to the, to the masses, you know, right. make it democratize this whole thing. Yeah. And the, 
the good news is I've partnered with the right person, somebody who yeah. you know, and you know a lot of the details about this. We're not quite ready to make a lot of these, a lot of this information public yeah. yet, but I can tell you, this is gonna be big. This is something I'm very excited about. So people wouldn't necessarily, if you do that, have to travel to Park City to do something like this? Not like at do, all. you have multiple clinics all. and you train other people to do what you do? That's right. So we're in the process now. I'm working with Amy Killen and we're gonna we're gonna roll in a lot of her stuff, a lot of peptides work and a lot of hormones and pretty much everything that between me and Amy Killen, everything that we know how to do, we're gonna do it so all. So not just stem cells, you can do peptides, hormones, yes. IVs, like yeah the whole yeah. treatment when someone comes in. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. So we're uh, the working name right now is Humanot Health. Like Humanot. Humanot, yeah. like an astronaut. Oh, but, like an astronaut, like A U T. Yeah, I like that's that. Right. Yeah. yeah. So Humanot Health. So we'll put a link down in the in the down below. So yeah. if people if people want to sign up, now for people who signed up for information on STEM clinics, we'll roll those guys over. But if you want to learn about it, sign up for it. We'll get you all the information as it becomes available. We've got this like thing set up that if you refer other people, it bumps you up on the referral list and the first hundred people yeah. will get a bunch of free yeah. stuff. Cool, cool. I dig it. Well, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to, like I experienced in the other procedures, feeling like a million bucks, you know, after my workouts and, you know, just, just in general within a few weeks. I think it takes a little bit of time to absorb everything, but um, I'm also pretty excited about recovering faster from this one than I have in the past, so. I uh, just got done lifting weights and <laughs> go for a swim. Uh, I'm very good at following doctor's orders to not do too much, but man, I feel, I feel good. Excellent, so what would you say you feel compared to full body? Is this, are you bouncing back quicker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the first day after it was pretty similar to full body. The second day like remarkably better. I like I I believed you like 90% that I'd feel better, but after that first day I was like, I don't know, maybe but then today I woke up this morning I'm like, dude, game on. Let's go. All right, buddy. Well, let's do it. Yeah. All right, man.